Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about Winscribe for Chrome. Winscribe is an application that's going to allow you to block ads and trackers as well as to safeguard your privacy online. Now when you head to winscribe.com in your web browser, if you're using Chrome, you'll see an option to add to Chrome. So if you click on the add to Chrome button here, you'll be redirected to the Chrome web store where you can go ahead and download the extension. All you have to do is click on the add to Chrome button. You can also go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Winscribe to download the Chrome extension as well. So let's go ahead and click on Add to Chrome and click on Add Extension. And then you'll be redirected to the Winscribe website to set up an account if you haven't already. Now if you have an account, you can log in from this page, but if you don't have an account, click on Use for Free. And you'll be able to create a username and password and enter that information again. Put in an email address and click on create free account. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put in my information here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the create free account button here. And now if you click on the Winscribe extension in the top right hand corner, you can see that I've now been logged into my account. So you can see that by default here, the cruise control feature is enabled. Now the cruise control feature is going to uh, basically allow for your location to be changed automatically when you're accessing a blocked resource. So for example, if you're accessing a website that's blocked because of your location, it's going to automatically adjust. So let's go ahead and do a test to see how that works. The first website that we're going to try and access is going to be HBO Go, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick Google search here for that. And we'll click on this link here. And so the website loads perfectly here. Now since I live in the United States and I'm accessing HBO Go from the United States, uh, not a big deal, but if I was accessing this website from another country such as the UK, uh, then the proxy is going to automatically adjust to the proper location so that you can access that website. And that's how the cruise control feature works. So let's go ahead and go to a website that I usually wouldn't be able to access, such as the BBC iPlayer. I'm going to load up a new tab here and go to the BBC iPlayer. So here's bbc.co.uk slash iPlayer. I'm going to load up that website here. So I'll click on continue up here. And let's go ahead and try and watch a video. So you can see that the video is playing here. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Now if I go back up to my Winscribe application and I go ahead and turn the cruise control off, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the uh, iPlayer website and try and load up a video here. And you can see that I'm getting a message here that says this content doesn't seem to be working because I am in the United States and this content is not available in the United States. So uh, again, I'm going to get this message anytime I'm trying to access this website from anywhere other than the UK or a supported country. So you can see that the Winscribe cruise control feature is going to make it a lot easier for you to browse any content on the web that you want uh, without having to worry about any kind of geolocation restricted content. Okay, so next I wanted to go ahead and talk about manually setting your proxies here. So as I've shown you, there is a very nice cruise control feature to automatically detect the best proxy based off the uh, website that you're browsing. But we can also go ahead and choose a specific proxy for a specific country. So you can see that I have a few options here. I have uh, proxies for the East Coast and West Coast of the United States, Canada, France. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick one of these proxies here to test it out. Uh, let's try Hong Kong. So here I can choose the Hong Kong proxy. You can see that it's already enabled. And now I can go ahead and go to ipinfo.io. So this is going to allow me to view what my IP address is showing as. So here you can see this is the IP address that uh, my machine is outputting because my proxy is enabled here. And it's identifying me as being located in Hong Kong, which of course I'm not. I'm located in the United States. So we know that the proxy is working properly. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a different one. I'm going to go ahead and try uh, a different country here. So we've connected to Hong Kong already. Let's go ahead and try something like Germany. And then we're going to go back to our ipinfo.io and load that page up here. And you can see that it's showing I'm now in Germany. So it's very quick and easy to switch between different countries based off what content you're wanting to browse or whatever purpose you need to use these proxies. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at some of the privacy options that are offered with the Winscribe extension. If you open up the Winscribe extension and you click on this button in the top left hand corner, you'll be able to view the privacy options. 
So here are some of the privacy options that we offer. The first one is the anti-social option. This is going to allow you to remove social media buttons from whichever website you're browsing. The untraceable feature is going to allow you to block known ad beacons and trackers. There's our ad blocker feature, which is going to allow you to block ads on different web pages. Split personality, which is going to allow you to randomly rotate your user agent. And if you're not familiar, your user agent is essentially the information that is being provided to the website about the web browser and operating system that you're visiting that website from. And finally, I'd like to talk about the whitelist feature. So if we click on the manage whitelist button here, you can see that I can add or remove different websites from our whitelist. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at an example here. Here I've loaded up the website wired.com. You can see that I can scroll through my content here. There are no ads on this page because the Winscribe application is blocking the ads on this page. So if we open up our Winscribe extension, we go back to the privacy options and manage whitelist. We can go ahead and add this site to our whitelist. So if you whitelist a website, it's going to stop any trackers from being blocked and any ads from being blocked. So let's go ahead and reload this web page and see how it looks now that we've whitelisted the website. So as you can see here, now that I've whitelisted the website, this big ad appears at the very top. So if I want to, I can go ahead and remove this website from that whitelist so that this ad is being blocked again. But if I want to keep it this way, then I can go ahead and keep this website on my whitelist. Okay, so next I wanted to talk about the secure link feature. Now, if you open up the extension, you can see that there's a secure link generator here at the bottom of the extension. So on our website in winscribe.com slash secure link, you can see we have some more information about what secure link actually is. Essentially, the secure link feature allows you to shorten URLs very easily. And the page that you're shortening is going to be scanned for ad beacons with third-party trackers that might compromise the privacy of the person who actually is going to be accessing this page. Now that website's going to then get a privacy score, which is going to go from A to F, just like in grade school. And this way you can see just how secure that web page is. And the person particularly that's accessing the page can see how secure the page is as well. So for example here, I have CNN.com, and when I have that web page loaded, if I open up my Winscribe extension here, you can see that it automatically detects the website that I'm currently on. Now if I click on this Copy Secure Link button right here, if I open up a new tab here and I paste in the link that I was just given, I can go ahead and click on Enter, and that page is going to load. So here is the Secure Link page that I'm given based off the CNN website, you can see it's getting a privacy score of F because it's detected 12 trackers. Now CNN.com is a very common website, so it's not necessarily meaning that the website is going to infect your machine with malware or anything like that, but there's a lot of trackers that have been detected on the page, so this is just a warning to the person who's going here. Now you can choose to either not display the message again, or if you just continue, you can click on continue protected and it'll take the actual user who's loading the web page to the website itself. Now I did also want you to see what it would look like if you were accessing that secure link on a machine that doesn't have Winscribe installed or where the Winscribe Chrome extension is not installed. So here I've opened up an incognito browser window and I'm just going to go ahead and load that same secure link that we talked about earlier and click on enter. And here you can see that it's going to look very similar, except you'll have an option to add the Winscribe extension onto your web browser. And then you also have this option here where you can click on Continue Anyway to your CNN website. You can see down here there's also another option to add the Winscribe extension to your web browser. Again, from this page I can click on Continue Anyway, and I'll be taken to CNN.com. So that's just a quick look at Winscribe for Chrome, a great way to block ads and trackers and browse the internet securely. That's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.